What's up guys, welcome back to another episode at your Honda Classic. In this episode, we're working on this Phoenix Yellow in Tegla Type R. We'll be installing a set of factory OEM body kit. What do you have, Brian? All right, so what we have here is the actual um, optional kit. Yep, yep. That was available for this car. And um, where did we get this from? Uh, we got this from JDM Ohio Direct. Um, it, it is a Japanese part but it would certainly fit on USD model as right. well. And I gotta tell you, it was these these parts are in mint condition. Very, very yeah. mint condition. And I am guilty, I did go, and I did do a little um, fixing here and there. I, I mean, it's what, 20 year old plastic? More Gonna that, have a not. little bit of this and that, but really good condition. I already removed the, um, the strips. So what are we gonna be doing in this episode? Well, we'll be doing initially test fitting, make sure everything's okay, then pre-install everything, uh, then match the paint, and then you come in and we spray it. All right, all right, yeah. So um, what we did uh, yesterday off camera real quick is um, we went ahead and uh, we drilled the final hole. This car actually did come with two holes already for the rear balances, and we used the instructions from Acura and we made that third hole. So now what we're gonna do on this episode is we're gonna go ahead and test fit it first. That's right. You don't wanna get it on there, and then it's That's too fair. late. And who's been there before? You know, based off what we're, what we're looking for here, is it even uh, or straight across? How is the gapping? You know, is it tight? Do all the holes match up with the bolts? And that's what we have here. So from here, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this into the body shop. And then from the body shop, you'll see us, we're gonna sand it down. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a spray out color chip. And we're gonna make sure that the color matches. Put some paint on these and we'll be back right here to install them. Okay, so Phoenix yellow, it's yellow and we have gray side skirts okay they were silver but you got primer areas and somewhere well in order to make sure that we have a nice consistent finish and we create adhesion we want to use our sealer so sickens what they do is they give us what we call a color bill which is colored sealers which is amazing and not that many systems even have something like this so what we do is we find our yellow or the closest one all right which will be this one right you know, this one right here so what we'll do is we'll mix this one up we'll seal all the panels and then after that we'll do a spray out of our color we'll verify that the color is actually correct before we lay this down and clear it so let's take a look at what we got in the booth okay so as i was mentioning inside the mixing room we have all of our panels that are completely ready to be painted this is scuff clear coat we have primer where we needed it. We have everything set up in an easy to paint way to get access to all of the areas. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna mix that sealer up and we're gonna lay it down.
looks like a win for me, man. This uh, paint line really comes through a lot. So uh, <laughs> it's time to spray some base. So what we're going to do now to uh, bring this back to the factory uh, specifications is it comes with a rubber and this rubber is Honda. Uh, now they also make a third party rubber I've seen but yeah. we're not putting a third party on you this stick class. with the OEM stuff. Yeah. So what it's got is it's got like a groove in it and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to align the groove here but before we all do all that in order for this double sided tape to stick because that's what it is we actually have a pad and this is a 3M pad and this is pretty much adhesion promoter very very simple mm -hmm. and it's an applicator pad and it's kind of wet and all you do all you do is we're going to put it in the area so for instance this is where the um, this is where the rubber would go you just go along the back I'm going to take this one go here along the back it gets just a little bit of uh, adhesion. This one's right here. That's all it is. And then we have one more right here. Goes along the back. So what does that do, Brian? So pretty much this is like, um, this makes the paint stick. Okay. Excuse me, the, um, the double-sided tape. When these two come together, you can't get them apart, really. So what you have, what you have here, is um, you have a double-sided tape, very one thin. End. Yep, and there's a chemical reaction between the two. When you get the tape and it bonds with that adhesion promoter, they're like this. So that means when you go to put it on, you don't have to worry about this thing wiggling around. And that's true for any automotive body part that uses, utilizes double-sided tape. Guys, if you guys want to pick this up, this is the part number. Check that out. Put it in the description. and just fit it up and you don't 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 want to pull it just let it go on just the way it should because if you pull it then it's gonna have tension and then it's just gonna go yeah it's just gonna go right back and it's gonna look funky Mike can you take this and just yep. guide it kind of where I'm going
Cut it right there. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. Just give it a little slice. Yep. So uh, what's next? So we've got some part where we'll get this mounted around the bumper now. Okay. So let's see what we got here. This is all factory stuff. Yeah, we got a couple of bolts that they mount up on the bottom. Uh, a couple of Phillips. Okay. Go to the side, and then uh, we got another one here. That's a slotted one. Yep. Go Just right to put that in here. there. Yeah. Yep. And then you got a little room here if you didn't drill your hole 100%. Got a little wiggle room there you can yeah. uh, work with. Designed for them. Yeah. The screws, the factory OEM screws oh, okay. with the um, washer. All right, cool. Let's go right on there. So the way this installs is it installs from the end first. This fits into a groove, which I'll show you in a moment. And then we just hook these two. We hook this one from underneath, and then we'll finish these up last. We'll put everything in loose first, and then we'll tighten it down. Yeah. All right. Okay, so that went pretty good, huh? I love how it Yeah, yeah, so, man, this Phoenix Yellow is kind of like, you know, a timeless color, I feel, almost. So, uh, you know, stay tuned to the end. We got some awesome B-roll shots we're gonna show you in just a moment. Mike? If you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like our video. And for that, we'll see you guys on the next one. On the next one.